hello guys welcome to yet another video it's green michaels as always and in today i am going to share with you how to identify support and resistance what goes on around a support and what goes on around a resistance if you're new to this channel i recommend that you subscribe and also smash on the notification bell on this channel so you'll be getting all the information whenever i post content such as this all right so looking at the picture in front of you this simply explains to a layman okay using a picture what a support is and what a resistance is all right so put it in simple a support is a point or area where buyers tends to find price enticing okay or in other words these are areas where there are great demand okay and in a resistance or a supply area is where sellers are available or find that area a good area to sell in an instrument or a commodity okay so with the picture in front of you here this simply explains what a support is so here we see that whenever price comes close to this area price tends to move up from that point okay so which means simply means that we tend to have buyers around that point and you understand that if demand okay is greater than if demand is greater than supply the price tends to go up so look at it in another sense that there in a certain area which is this territory here that there is great demand okay so i want to start with this before going up to the advanced ones okay so here we have a static demand area okay so here we have a static demand area and we have a supply area okay so a supply area or a resistance is where sellers are present okay so we can have a group of persons or an individual or a trader okay buying of these lows and selling at this high okay so why is it selling at this high this was previous area he found price okay moving down from okay so it tends to look at it as a room okay so we have the floor and we have the ceiling okay say you bounce a ball on the ground okay on the floor okay it tends to hit a particular height okay so the max height price can hit could be that ceiling or the ceiling of the room okay okay so the more energy you put into hitting the ball on the ground okay the more energy okay in terms of kinetic energy which price would hit that ceiling okay so if you hit that ceiling multiple times here in this example as you can see that price move from this support so see this as a ball hitting this once hit this twice and then at the third time you know that area becomes weaker okay and price breaks through that ceiling there and then the ball sets on on top okay so that area there is when you hear resistance turn support when price breaks it okay and also in the terms of the opposite way okay when supply is greater than demand price tends to break to the downside and you hear a line such as support becomes resistance okay it's a very simple understanding okay so before i move on to dynamic support dynamic resistance okay um this i believe is most understood okay so we understand what is support and we understand what is resistance okay so looking at it on the chart here so these are candlesticks okay these are candlesticks okay so this is what support and resistance look like okay so we have strong support and we have minor support we have minor resistance we have minor support so in the situation of a moving market say price is making series of higher highs higher lows okay and you could also um identify 
those areas such as using or you can also want to use a channeling technique okay so but first in this example here i'm going to share with you this this is identifying support and resistance in a trending market okay so we have price trading a strong support here price bounce twice okay and we have it that price breaks through this was previous area where buyers bought price okay when price moved up on buyers actually were more dominant during this time and then this was the area where supply was also more dominant so in that area we see that price tends to go down from there and as i did tell you before that the area which this creates a strong support could force price into breaking out the structure okay so look at it as the amount of energy you require or the amount of energy applied around this support was great such that it could break through that resistance okay so some you can look at this as the numbers of orders okay amount of all the volume being put in at this level okay greater than the volume of supply being put in at this level okay so you understand that market we have two types of participants in the market okay so we have the bulls we have the bs okay but we have another type of market participants which i could call the dump money okay so these are a group of traders that tends to push price faster okay now let me tell you why why this happens is that when market is moving in either direction okay there are set of persons or group of individual okay they're actually doing that okay down other sets of individuals are actually doing the opposite okay but there are sets of individuals actually following what the market is actually doing randomly okay so these are called retail traders okay the large money pushes price or detects the market okay so in this situation here or in this example here we can see that the large money pushes price or there was more demand around this point and then price broke through that support or that resistance there and that area turned into support okay so price then moves up into another level there now i'm going to explain in other videos what happens after price breaks through a key environment be it a support or be it a resistance how what happens to price okay what does the market tends to do afterwards okay so the market have different feeling or different ways of doing things after a breakout okay sometimes it could be test immediately or could want to retest the zone okay it could retest the resistance like this okay immediately or it could also want to retest the zone okay you can see that this after price broke out of that area then immediately price retested that resistance okay we tested that resistance and it turned into support sometimes price could retest the zone okay all right so in this example here you can see that price immediately broke out of this zone we tested that resistance and then price continued upside at a certain height price fell back into the zone to test the zone okay so if i extend this line down here you can see that price broke through slightly that resistance okay so many of the times when you're looking at resistance stone supply you look at it as with also respect to the time travel okay the immediate resistance or immediate structure that is broken within the same day okay within the same day or within the same trading session could immediately turn um, um, opposite of that so if we had a resistance being tested and broken in a particular trading session it could immediately turn um, 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 support okay if a resistance is broken in, in a trading session or a specific trading day it could immediately turn support okay if a support is broken in a trading day it could immediately turn resistance okay but if price if you allow the next session okay the next set of traders okay may want to test the zone okay instead of testing that previous resistance they could want to test the zone okay so sometimes this happens in the market and you understand that if you understand this concept it would be very easy for you to identify this okay and not get caught unnecessarily when price falls below that point okay because i understand that for some set of traders that are actually looking at resistance turn um, support and support turn resistance you could be looking at taking another trade of this point because this was actually a resistance turn support okay but you would have got it wrong at this point because price did not just bounce 
in that zone price we traced below that zone we came out as you want to look at it as a, in a different time frame okay that's why in the latest part of this video i'm going to explain okay you want to look at it differently okay so price could bounce off the zone be out of the zone and then test the zone fully one more time okay so many times when this happens what i tend to do is i tend to measure the height okay i tend to measure the height in this kind of example i tend to measure the height of the zone okay and i could measure the height of the zone that if this from here to here say could be maybe 20 pips okay i tend to divide this zone into two okay and then measure that into two so that my risk to reward would make the most sense so if i know that i'm taking a trade of maybe this as my new um, area or zone of buying my risk would be reduced around this point and my very first objective would be the previous resistance here okay in that way i have been able to reduce my risk risk and also amplifying my reward okay that's the main essence so it makes the risk to reward ratio makes the most sense okay all right so we look at this and as price continues you can see that this created a support and price went up here you can see that when price did retest this zone many times as traders i oftentimes recommend that fibonacci tool could be used okay in terms of to, um, to measure the possible retracement areas okay so i oftentimes um look at test price testing the 61.8 fibonacci retracement okay so if you do not know what the retracement or fibonacci tool is you can go watch other previous videos in my channel which i did apply the fibonacci tool in order to identify a possible resistance area or a possible retest area or minor support area or minor resistance area when price breaks through a key environment okay so let's continue with this one here so you can see that price did break back into creating another test of the minor resistance and then create back as a minor support and then price continues upside okay so many times market do this okay time and time again okay market do this time and time again okay so let's look at another example this is another um picture that clearly identifies or share or gives you the full story about a dynamic kind of support so support and resistance in a trend line okay or in an uprising market price is making higher highs and higher lows so in a trending market or a bullish market that is making series of higher highs and higher lows where you want to be looking at taking your trade because that's going to be the point where your risk to reward is going to make the most sense okay so you want to be buying at those support those minor support okay let me share with you another example here in another example here is another way to identify support and resistance you can use the head of a trend line okay you can see in this example here a trend line was used in order to identify possible areas of support and resistance okay so here in this trend line we can see that points where price touched many times on the trend line like once twice here touched again okay so those are areas you can buy okay you can buy off those areas as possible dynamic support okay possible dynamic support i call them dynamic support because they are structures that change they are not static they are not major areas okay they are actually price or um now this structure formed as a result of price moving upside or downside okay so if it's in a downward momentum you could be looking at testing resistance okay so resistance you sell at resistance okay all right the wyckoff um also talks about the composite man that regulate the market all right so i will explain in other videos as well um the wyckoff theory the wyckoff laws the composite man okay i will try as much as possible to explain in my next videos okay so looking at this we move on to the next slide that will explain um furthermore support and resistance and we are going to look at some applications okay some applications all right so this is another example here of support and a resistance sometimes this happen in the market all right so according to the wyckoff rule this could be a spring okay in this example here this is a spring okay so spring oftentimes occur in the market and some traders may call it a fake out 
okay they call it a fake ad so if you are looking to trade this kind of example okay and this happened in the market and then price tends to bounce off this zone if you are a bull in the market okay and you have your bias to go with the bulls okay if you put up a pending buy order here below this point or some few pits below this area is where you want to put your stop loss okay and you want to target the resistance of this area here so as we progress in this video and in other videos i will explain more what this is okay so for some traders they understand this as fake out or they can call it um stop hunt okay what this means is um i will not be able to explain this in this video because i have not really explained the, the concept of the composite man okay but this is the composite man's in action okay it tends to want to haunt traders that put the stop losses somewhere below here somewhere below here somewhere below here and after taking out all the stop losses price falls back into the range and then continues upside so this is the activity of the composite man okay so you can go read it out the composite man as explained by richard wyckoff okay so i will explain in my next videos wyckoff theory the laws the composite man how he acts and how you can plan as a composite man understanding its concept and uh, the application of its concept as well all right so let's just take some examples on demand and supply okay using different time frames okay using different time frames okay so here we are on a different time frame here okay so here above here this is a weekly time frame okay this is a weekly time frame of the jump 25 and this is a daily time frame okay so you guys understand for every line here this here i just applied the a very useful tool onto my mt4 you can actually view this this here the the space from here to here is actually one months okay so this seems we on the daily time frame this is a month so one month another month another month okay another month okay so here we are on the weekly scale here so you can see that this area here of previous support okay you can see how price reacted in this area price came in through that point and understanding this would be able to guide you into capturing the reversals okay the reversal so the main objective is looking at how price reacts around a key environment here in this example you can see that in this current weekly candle here okay in this current weekly candle here and looking at it on a h4 basis okay on the h4 basis this is the h4 basis okay on that weekly candle price goes through that support and then closes just slightly above it okay creating a rejection on the weekly scale okay you can see here creating this rejection on a weekly scale okay but on a daily scale you can see that on a daily scale on a daily scale price did this around a daily scale okay at a daily scale price did reject here went through that point just a little bit and then push back into this point so with the help of different time frame analysis or a multi time frame analysis you can identify what price is doing around certain areas in a different time frame that is why i recommend that you apply multi time frame analysis into your trading here on this this is a h4 chart and this is the h1 chart okay so in the h4 chart here because i applied the grid into my mt4 so the space between here and here is one week okay this is one week and the space between here and here in this period here is one day okay so this helped me a lot now in the last trading week what happened here price goes down into that support and then pushes just a little bit above okay closing just a little bit above that structure okay 
and this was an area where price closed okay so in the new week what we are looking at in the new week we are looking at price we can as well put in some of the tools okay be it a trend line i love to use this okay i love to use this as well so price closing below that point what i want to see is price going through that area or below that area on the next trading week and then pushing out through that area okay so on the next trading week you can see that that happened and then price pushed out from that structure and that would be the best time to put up your order okay that would be the best time to put out your order at the break of this structure you can put up your order at the break of the structure and your stop loss should be below that previous point all right you could be wrong at the very first test okay it is no problem okay some traders find it very difficult to walk out of a losing position okay if you are wrong at the very first test walk away okay it's best to walk away okay let's look at it what happened on a one hourly scale so on a one hourly scale all those examples or all those elite illustration which i did on the four hourly time frame was also reflected here so you can see that over this period price did bounce off this point as an ending pattern okay you can see how that occurred that price bounce off the support resistance support resistance and then um, bounce over the support and then broke out of the range in our previous analysis from the weekly scale we wanted to see another rejection so this is another rejection within the week also reflecting within the week but on a weekly scale it looked very very different okay so within the week it looked different and going back to the four hourly scale you can see that at the close of the new week that created this structure that we had two rejections okay I did put a line here vertical line to identify where next we will be taking our next trade in the new week where we'll be looking to take our new position in the new week you can as well see that this was the line which i spoke about in the previous week you could use a fibonacci tool or a structure okay to identify how to take your next trading position price did slow down okay in the new week then started falling higher highs higher lows you might want to put it if you are good at technical analysis you might want to start doing this okay if you're good with technical analysis you might want to start doing this you might want to start putting up a structure okay putting up a structure like this and then taking your trade at the break okay of this structure originally you were bullish okay your bias was bullish on this so taking a trade a long trade from this structure and putting a stop loss below this point here would put you ahead of the game okay let's say price moves up in your favor okay price moves up in your favor a little bit and then maybe contracted a little bit and close bullish within the day so in the day we have a higher high higher close the next day we also had a higher high higher close okay so let's look at this how we fed on the daily scale okay on the daily scale we had price retracing into the zone so this was our entry point within the new week okay price started forming higher high higher close and remember guys when price moves in your favor such that you can put a protective stop you might want to do so okay here if you put a protective stop here within the sequence here you would identify that you would have captured all this massive push upside okay you would have got out of the trade what I oftentimes recommend for traders is not to be overly um, confident, okay? Sometimes traders use trend line to identify failures in the market, okay? In this kind of example, this is also typical to the previous example I showed you. You can see that in this period, price moved within a structure forming resistance, support, resistance, support, 
minor resistance minor support minor resistance minor support and as price makes new resistance and this was the expected support and then price makes move moves its way to making a new resistance this is where your protective stop is expected to be okay price then moves down to hit your protective stop that is a very good time to walk out of the market okay and plan for a new trade all right it's not a time to argue with the market it's time to work out and plan for a new trade and here you can see during this time price retraced into the zone and you hopped off of the market through price hitting your protective stop and in this time price formed a flat pattern and then continued to the upside so if you apply the yellow wave concept and the core yellow wave pattern you would be you would have been able to take another position through this flat pattern formation so it's quite easy to do this on your chart so let's look at another example All right, so this okay so let's look at another example so in another example this is another chart this is the chart of volatility 25 okay so here we've identified previous structure okay as possible support area and you can see how price did bounce off this zone okay so in this example here it's also a very easy one to do you want to identify your resistance here and this was your previous area of support and you can see that price in the previous week came through this zone okay you can see these two rejections of the zone if you go over to this below here is the one hourly chart you can see that in the one early chart you can see that in this day okay price tested this zone and retested that zone okay so this became um, a good support area okay as a result of a double test okay remind you guys that you wanted to buy of that zone because of possible structure okay possible previous structure okay there was demand in that zone previously and there is demand in that zone one more time okay so with the aid of that weekly candle okay remember guys i shared previous video what goes on beyond the indecision candle what goes on beyond every week okay look at my previous video on this channel then go through it i explain what goes on beyond every candlestick so i made mention of that specifically using an indecision candle okay so here price forms this so you would not be able to identify this easily without having a good look at this so this gives you an idea of areas or when you should start looking for buying opportunities all right so we we'll wrap up this session i'll be back with more videos in order to help you pinpoint point of possible support resistance how you can identify them and how you can trade them like this video share with friends subscribe so you'll be getting all the information whenever i post new content and share this with friends that would be the best thank you and drop a thumbs up in this video and please also leave a comment if you have any question in this video or about this video See you on my next video. I love you guys.